Dear ambient fans, <laughs> um, we have a big problem and I decided to make a rant video to complain about it a little bit and ask you for help to find a solution. So this video goes out to everyone who is either a part of their community or is just in general interested in ambient, experimental and all other kinds of non-commercial or rather non-super mainstream uh, electronic music. Everyone who listens, everyone who plays concerts, everyone who makes records and in general everyone who just wants to connect with like-minded people on the internet. What is the problem you say? Well, the problem is that the platforms we use on the internet, like uh, YouTube, let's uh, focus on YouTube in this video, since this is a video that I am going to put on YouTube, uh, they are not working for our community anymore. When I first started watching videos on the internet, uh, some of the first things that I searched for were behind the scenes footage for bands and musicians. People would uh, post videos of them rehearsing and uh, making music with their friends. They would uh, discuss their struggles and uh, that they were uh, trying to go on tour and they would talk about uh, what kind of music they were making and more importantly why they were making just exactly that kind of music and this would be a very good chance for people to connect deeper with their music because they now had context around the music and the person behind the music because as we all know um, how much we like a piece of music is not only dependent on how it sounds. It can be based uh, or influenced by who told you about this band, uh, when was the first time you heard the song, where were you, um, or it can be like an impactful event in your life, or a movie, or somewhere else where this song just happened to be on in the background. For example, uh, one time I remember seeing an interview with an artist, and after this I checked out their song. And this song was in a genre that I don't uh, listen to that much. But because I have seen the interview, I connected much deeper with the song. Because I now had the broader context of the story uh, to kind of pull me into the track. And this would have been very different and I probably wouldn't have checked out the track at all if I didn't read this interview. And these kind of things we of course could do uh, way before uh, YouTube and even before the internet uh, in like uh, magazines and, uh, and uh, people being on TV and so on. But of course this was mostly for the already superstars uh, and all this experimental and underground stuff was very hard to find. So when we got, I mean, blogs and forums and uh, user groups and chats and all this in the beginning, but maybe even more when we got YouTube. Finally, um, these lesser known artists and bands could share their stories and we would be able to connect with them, maybe even on a deeper level than all these super mainstream artists. Uh, so what is the problem, uh, you might say? And the problem is, it's freaking impossible to find any of these videos now. Um, every time I go out searching, I end up finding Either people who try to sell me even more synthesizers, even though I don't need it. Uh, people who try to teach me how to copy other artists with uh, their tutorials. Or uh, like super uh, casual, uh, chill uh, synth uh, jams with uh, no person in them at all. And I mean, I like <laughs> a good synth jam from time to time. And sometimes I'm even shopping for a new box. And it's of course great that we have all these resources now so people can learn much more easy how to create music and uh, make it sound uh, much better. But where are the stories? Where are, let me see what I've wrote down here, my uh, notes. Where are the stories? Where are the humans behind and around the music? Um, 
where are the people contextualizing their work so we can connect even deeper with it and tell us why they made it, not just what kind of gear they used to make it. There are, of course, some like uh, podcasts and so on uh, where they interview people and they talk about the stories. And this is great, but where are the people making their own videos talking about their artist uh, journey? I want to see it. Uh, I, of course, recognize that this is not only a problem uh, with the, like a synth and uh, ambient uh, YouTube. This is a problem with like uh, the whole thing itself. Uh, because their uh, business model uh, doesn't make them a fixed uh, algorithm or make the search and browse functions any better. Um, so it's like, uh, I mean, the other day I watched one video of a guy who started believing in God and the next time I opened up my recommended feed, out of the six videos that was there, there was five videos either uh, trying to make me believe in God or like uh, other uh, Christian videos. And two of them was with Jordan Peterson. And But yeah, luckily there was one video, <laughs> that was uh, the sixth video, was um, Tom Hall from uh, Cycling74 interviewing a guy from Ableton uh, who just happened to be named Christian. So I could uh, watch that one instead. <laughs> but anyways, um, it's really hard to find these videos in all this noise. Uh, where are they? Are they there? Um, probably, but I think they are getting swallowed by uh, the algorithm and all this other stuff. And talk about the algorithm, I feel like half of YouTube is just YouTubers telling other YouTubers how they can get more attention on YouTube by following uh, these invisible rules of the algorithm. I think our community have to think differently and I am asking you to help me figure this out. I guess this has to be a video series where I try to figure it out together with you but I wanted to start this first video uh, just to start a discussion and talk with you. Uh, what can we do? Do we need to go somewhere else? Do we like uh, stop using YouTube and go somewhere else? Um, do we need like a code word that we put in all our uh, videos like uh, hashtag uh, ambient stories or anything uh, stupid like that? Or do we have to make like a web ring or a curated website that we put uh, all these videos and stories? Uh, what do we have to do? Uh, comment on this YouTube video um, about your feelings. Email me your solutions. At me in the Fediverse with all your uh, favorite creators who might be making some of these uh, videos uh, already. I know I will be sharing mine uh, with you. Uh, and send this video and talk to all your favorite, like the biggest YouTube drama people, <laughs> and the tech bloggers and so on, so we can get some attention on this issue. Uh, and maybe, just maybe, we can make it a little bit better. Okay, I'll keep you posted. Peace out.